All right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So I've gotten into soap making, and here is a small selection of what I've produced recently. And one thing that I've wanted to do with the soap is to make things that are kind of textured, specifically to look like rocks. And one thing I've thought of is to have a soap with fossils in it that would weather out of the soap as it's used, just like it does in a rock. And this means that I need to make the fossils kind of harder than the surrounding soap. So one thing that I found in my research to harden the soap is to add a few percent of beeswax. Beeswax makes the soap harder. And in the charts, it has a saponification value. And this makes sense because beeswax is essentially an animal fat. It's bee fat. It is slightly different. The chains of the molecules are a little bit longer. There's some slight differences, but it is essentially a fatty acid with a long alcohol chain binding it together, just like something like lard. So I got to thinking, what would happen if I made soap instead of using just a small amount of beeswax, what if it was all beeswax? 100% beeswax soap. Could that work? I would assume it would be really hard, but it should still be soap, right? Well, let's go see what happens. Okay, how much beeswax do I got? 200 grams. Nice, I'll make math easy. Pop this in a pot, get it melting. According to my research, I should need about 14 grams of sodium hydroxide to completely react and saponify the wax. Probably just get to 13 and then, yeah, right there. Now as for water, I'm going to use About that much, actually. Yeah. Okay, the wax is up to temperature. I am doing the hot process, mostly because I don't want to have to wait for the results. Let's uh, put in our lye water solution. <laughs> it's kind of neat. Oh, it's really expanding. Put it out. Okay. Let's give it a stir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is not behaving like the fat did. This is... Yeah, that is unusual. <laughs> Let me switch out my utensils. Okay, I've turned the heat back on a little bit just to keep it hot. There's not a lot of thermal mass here. I'm just gonna stir it by hand. It seems like it's gonna saponify really easily. Okay, I've been stirring it around for about 20 minutes. It doesn't appear to have changed a whole lot. It's almost like it achieves trace immediately, but uh, whatever it's done, I'm going to take it out now and squish it into a rough bar shape and let it cool. Okay, let's grab some, smash it into a mold. I'll let it cool. Hopefully I'll have some beeswax soap. There it is. Now it seems to harden up as it cools just like wax would. It looks just like wax. Let's go run over to the sink and see if it dissolves in water. You see, uh, wax normally wouldn't dissolve in water or react at all. But if I've made soap with it, I should be able to see something. Look at that, bubbles making the water milky. 
So we definitely did something to it. It behaves like soap. That's encouraging. Hopefully it's not a problem to run down the drain. Okay. Pop out the cubes. <laughs> it was very rough. But I just had an idea. Cuts pretty easily. Well, there it is, roughly hexagonal beeswax soap. So, time for the zap test. I'm going to touch it to the tip of my tongue, and if it's like touching my tongue to a battery, then I'll know that there's leftover sodium hydroxide that didn't react, and it wouldn't be safe to use on my hands. It's probably not safe to use on my tongue either, but it's just the tip of my tongue. Nope. Just like our soap. It has a, definitely a soapy taste, but a neutral pH. Everything's done reacting. There's no leftover sodium hydroxide and should be safe to use on my hands. The smell of it doesn't smell like beeswax anymore. It's kind of hard to describe. It's kind of like freshly sanded wood that had spoiled milk on it. It's not horrible, but it's not good either. Yeah. As far as soaps go, I mean, butter, for instance, when it's made into soap is much worse. But yeah, I could use that. In fact, let's go test it out. So the test of cleaning power, I put some hematite on my hand. And as you can see, uh, the water will not get it all off. I can scrub it pretty good. <laughs> Looks like I got blood on my hand. As you can see, the hand is still stained. So let's incorporate the soap. Oh, okay. So I can tell you right now, the soap is very hard. It's it's almost sharp. It actually kind of hurts your hand. It's like washing with an actual rock. <laughs> Maybe even like glass. Ugh. But, uh, yeah, it also dissolves slowly, so it's taking a long time to get enough soap off of it to be useful. But it is working. It is removing the stain, at least for the most part. So it does have cleaning capability, but it's nothing compared to this. Uh, soap here, which is made out of olive oil and coconut oil. I see much bigger bubbles. Yeah, this this cleans much faster. But of course, it's soft and falls apart. <laughs> All right, well, it's interesting. I'm going to save some of the better pieces just because it's kind of cool, but for the most part I'm going to grind it up and add it to my other batches of soap to harden them. It is certainly hard. Uh, I think it's even harder than the original wax. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.